What's going on YouTube? So there are few, and I mean very few vehicles, that command the type of respect that this G-Wagon does. It is an iconic vehicle, both off-road and in the streets of Beverly Hills, which is why we're checking out the latest version today. So with that said, let's get into one of the most capable and luxurious vehicles that money can buy. All right, so let's go ahead and start things off here with the exterior, which of course is unlike anything else on the road. Now, very important when this was redesigned last year was retaining that rugged military style look, and that definitely has been retained. So up in the front here, you've got a really nice boxy design with the grill. Now this is normally finished in a silver as far as the bars, but if you choose the AMG line, then it's gonna get blacked out. Uh, we also have the fully chrome bars up here in the front. These can also be blacked out if you prefer that more stealthy look. And then coming over here to your headlights, of course you do have the traditional circular style design. Um, obviously they are fully LED and you also have the really cool LED daytime running light that circles around the entire thing. And then in traditional G-Wagon fashion, we have the turn signal mounted up here on the fender. Now, since this is a G-Wagon, of course you have actual capability to match the styling. So what you'll be looking at up here in the front is gonna be nine and a half inches of ground clearance. And you're gonna have an approach angle of 27 degrees and then a departure angle of 30 degrees. Now it's a pretty subtle touch, but when you choose the AMG line package that actually flares out the fenders to be a little bit wider and more aggressive. And then coming down here to your wheels, you actually have some new designs for 2020. Um, now what you're looking at is gonna be a standard 19 inch alloy. However, you can actually go smaller or larger uh, for an extra charge. So you can get an 18 inch alloy or several different 20 inch alloys. And then as far as your mirrors are concerned, of course, as you would expect for something in this price range, you have all the features that a mirror could have. So you have power folding, auto dimming, heating and blind spot monitoring. All right, so before we get out back, I do wanna talk about the side styling of this G-Wagon. Obviously there's not really an area where it's more distinct looking than this just big cube square look on the side. Um, but I have to say uh, a few of the touches here at the side. So the door hinges right here are exposed. That does play into that rugged look. And down below we do have some silver trim. And then we have a hidden exhaust system on this G550 up under here. And we do also have the optional performance exhaust, which I have to say, you can't see it, but you can definitely hear it. And making it around to the rear of this G-Wagon, I almost don't even know what to say. It's such an iconic look. I have to say I'm a huge fan of it though. Um, and as far as the feature set itself, of course the most distinct look will be that you have this uh, spare tire back here. You can actually customize this in pretty much any way that you want it. You can have the silver trim like this one has on the outside. You can black it out. You can make it body color. Whatever you want is what you can get in this G-Wagon. And then as far as your tail lights, they're going to be fully LED. Um, and then the bumper does have some chrome accenting to keep up with that rugged look. Now, as far as your safety systems are concerned, as you would expect with a vehicle starting well above $100,000, you do have them standard across the board. You'll have forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection, active lane keeping assist, evasive steering assist, active blind spot monitoring, and an advanced adaptive cruise control system called Active Distance Assist Distronic. Well guys, that sums up this very unique exterior for this G-Wagon. So now let's go ahead and hop inside before we take it out on the road.
now walking out to the G-Wagon. Of course, you do have the latest Mercedes key fob. But one interesting thing you are missing is the keyless go sensors on the door handle. So you actually don't have smart entry. You will have to use the key fob itself to unlock the doors. Now when you do, of course, the mirrors will electrically fold outwards. And these door handles, these are the old school G-Wagon door handles, so they don't actually move. You just press in on this part to unlock it. Now since we're over here looking at the doors, I've got to do the thing where I shut the door and let you listen to it. I mean, that is the type of thing that people pay so much money for. Just the way these doors sound is insane. Alright, now turning our attention to the interior itself. As you can see, just uh, since it was redesigned last year, it does have the same design, which basically combines modern Mercedes aspects with the classic G-Wagon design. Now there actually are some changes for 2020, and probably the biggest one is that there are a lot more interior color combinations available. Now there already were a ton of them, but we are now up to 36 different interior color combinations, which is absolutely outrageous. Um, and many of those are pretty wild color options, such as the yacht blue, and you can even get one with lime green accents. Um, now as far as the leather, of course every model does have real leather. We just have the regular real leather, but you can get optional fine Napa leather if you prefer that. And you also have your choice between about 10 different trims. We have the most expensive one, which is carbon fiber. Now turning over here to your door trim, of course you will find leather that runs through the armrest area, more carbon fiber trim, and real metal that runs through here. Across the top we do have a soft touch uh, part, part here, um, of course it can be leather if you choose a higher price package. And then coming down here to your seats, we have the 14-way power adjusting seats that are standard equipment with the three-person memory seating. Additionally, you will find standard heating. And then when you add the comfort seating package, that's where you'll get the ventilation as well as the massaging abilities. Of course, checking out the seats themselves, like I already said, they are real leather. And of course, we do have a nice stitching detail. Now on the G-Wagon, you have integrated running boards. Now, like I already kind of mentioned when I was talking about the door trim, there are basically two different sections of materials that you can choose from. What we have is what you get standard. So that's going to be a soft touch dashboard with stitching detail. Um, down below, you have more soft touch. You have lots of aluminum that runs through here. And then down here on your bottom part, this is actually going to be a hard touch plastic. Um, and then you have carbon fiber trim that runs through here. Now, if you choose the exclusive interior package, that's going to basically upgrade the interior like the G63 AMG we had last year. So you're going to have a leather dashboard, which can now be two-toned uh, for 2020, which is a new option. And then you have like quilted leather down through here and also on the door trim. Now, obviously you do have push button start. And I have to say, I'm very impressed by the way this sounds at startup. It sounds a lot like that G63 AMG. Now checking out the gauges here, since the G-Wagon appeals to people that both like traditional touches as well as modern touches, Mercedes does give you the choice between two different gauge clusters. Um, so if you choose to have the standard version, that's going to be an analog setup, or for a small upcharge, you can get this 12.3 inch fully reconfigurable gauge cluster, which blends in seamlessly with the main 12.3 inch display. Now, of course, like in other Mercedes models, this can be customized, so you can just swipe using the steering wheel control right here, and you can go through a lot of different sections for each of these zones. Additionally, you can get a head-up display, though we do not have one. Now, coming back to the steering wheel itself, since this is the regular G550, we have the circular steering wheel with that uh, usual Mercedes design with real metal um, trim all throughout. Of course, it is covered in fine Napa leather, 
and it is power adjusting as well as heated for an extra $250. Now one of the 2020 updates is that you can now get two tone steering wheel options um, which use several different selections of wood or two different tones of Napa leather. Now of course like pretty much every Mercedes model over here on the right side you have the shifter so you just push down for drive, push the opposite way for reverse and when we go into reverse you will find a standard backup camera of course on every model. We just have the regular um, camera system which has the traditional view plus the parking sensor visualization but of course you can get a 360 degree camera system if you prefer and then you can press the end of the stock here to put it in park all right so now let's go ahead and talk about interior storage now this is one of the most or the weakest parts of the old g-wagon and thankfully it has improved a lot with this new generation so inside we have a really nicely sized center console, of course with a nice felt lining in the bottom of it. And I'm not sure exactly how useful this will be for a G-Wagon owner, but let's put it to the test with some coupons here, see if how they fit in the console. Oh, they fit pretty well. They do crinkle up just a little bit there though. And then up in the front here, we slide back the carbon fiber. That's where you reveal your two cup holders and you have a tiny little slot there to stick your key fob. Now back behind that, that's where you're gonna find some of your buttons here. I won't go through all of them, but these are all related to your drive modes. And then on the opposite side here, this is where we have some of our four wheel drive controls as well as our audio controls. Now standard on every model of the G550 is going to be a 590 watt 15 speaker Burmester premium sound system. So let's go ahead and take a sample of that. Of course, as you would expect, the sound quality of this system is excellent. And I particularly love the beautiful speaker grill details. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to the uh, dashboard. Um, so down here at the bottom, you have some physical controls as well as a beautiful analog clock. And then right above that, we have our climate controls. Um, now, the, of course, you do have a standard three zone automatic climate control setup. It is very simple to adjust. You just use these knobs and it shows you what's adjusting right up there on the screen. And then who could forget our buttons right here front and center for our not one, not two, but three locking differentials. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check out the command system. Now, notice I did say command system. This is actually the older style Mercedes system. Um, since in some of the other products it has been replaced by the new MBUX system. But for now we still have the command system for the G-Wagon. However, it does work pretty much the same way for most of the functions. Um, but it is not a touch screen, uh, so you will have to use this control knob and touchpad combination. Now of course, as you would expect, you do have standard navigation. And you also have standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay abilities. And you can't really see it in the car right now because it is really bright and sunny. Um, but we do have the 64 color ambient lighting system, which goes all around the vehicle, including up above the display. And it looks really, really cool at night. All right, now moving on up here, we do have a auto dimming mirror uh, with your three Homelink Universal remotes. You've also got a really cool roof mounted speaker grill. And then you'll find your standard sized moonroof. Um, now, a panoramic moonroof that's actually not available on the G Wagon at this time. But like I said, you do have the standard size unit, it is included free of charge. And then you also have the windscreen right there. Well, guys, before we get started with the rear, I just have to shut the door once more lovely <laughs> it's the most lovely thing ever okay now getting down to business here in the back 
Um, as far as the rear leg room itself is concerned, you're going to come in at 40 inches of rear leg room and 41 inches of rear headroom, which just place it right on par with its main rivals like the Range Rover. Um, and as far as sitting behind rear seating position, I don't really have any issues. Looking around four inches of rear leg room and my feet definitely have room to slide up underneath the seat. There's plenty of space for them. Um, so I'm pretty comfortable back here. Obviously this is not gonna be as comfortable as something like a GLS, but it is definitely tolerable. And as far as the feature set is concerned for this G-Wagon, if you see it, it's standard equipment. So you do have rear vents back here, as well as on the B-pillar. And then you do have your own climate controls. Down below, we have a USB port, as well as a 12 volt outlet. And heated rear seats are also standard equipment across the board. They're over here on the door trim. And then if you fold down the armrest, you do have cup holders inside. All right, and walking up to the tailgate of this G-Wagon, of course you are gonna have standard foot activation, not actually you have just this handle <laughs> and it is manually opening just like pretty much everything in this G-Wagon and it opens to the side, very unique for this class of vehicle. Now, looking inside of the G-Wagon, you're gonna find 38 cubic feet of space behind the second row seats, and it expands to 69 cubic feet if you fold them. Um, so this is not like the most practical in the cargo area, but um, it is still definitely plenty of space for most people. And as far as how Mercedes has finished it back here, we do have the finest of everything. So you have a really nice carpeting along the floor, as well as a cargo cover, and a household style outlet on the left side. Now over here at the passenger seat, you are gonna have as many controls as you could ever want of adjustment that is standard across the board, as well as three-person memory. Now, as far as the glove box is concerned, it is nicely dampened and has a really nice felt lining. And I'm pleased to report that there is plenty of space for any type of coupon you could ever want, although it does fold up the end, so I don't know if you'll be happy with that. And then up top, we do have a sun visor with an LED light and mirror, and it does also detach. However, it does not extend. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? What? <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. Like, this doesn't seem to obey the laws of physics. <laughs> so, this is uh, quite powerful. <laughs> wow. Um, as far as the actual specifications, this is a 4 liter bi turbo V8 engine, um, as you can probably hear. 416 horsepower, 450 pound-feet of torque. Um, so lots of power, um, but I have to say like the response feels even more than that. Yeah. Like maybe it's just because of the how hefty everything feels inside of this vehicle, but it just doesn't seem like it could yeah. go that fast. You, you just don't expect a tank to take off like a rocket. Um, you know, it's zero to 60 for this G550 is 5.6 seconds. Um, so that's not like world setting figures or anything, but just it's it's insane. Once you get behind the wheel, it, it yeah, it just messes with your mind, the size and the speed of it. Yeah, this is almost 6,000 pounds, 6,000 pounds. Now, of course, it is worth noting, if you really want something even faster than that, the G63 is available, um, which cuts down on that 0 to 60 um, to about 4 seconds, which is nuts. Um, but this is just the regular G550 here. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. Wow, just getting up to speed here. You know, this is, of course, Mercedes' flagship SUV. Um, so it does have to, you know, be comfortable on top of just looking like a tank and performing really well. Um, and I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. This is the first time that we've actually been able to drive the G-Wagon. Um, so color me, color me impressed. You know, going highway speed, we're going, um, looks around 50 miles an hour. Um, I mean, it's, 
just crazy uh, quiet inside of this cabin. You wouldn't expect that out of something. It's a cube, you know, it's not aerodynamic or anything. And you don't hear any wind noise or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and get a sound level meter reading here. Yeah, and before we started slowing down there, we're going around uh, 57 decibels, uh, which is very good for a luxury SUV, especially one with an engine as nice and loud as this. <laughs> the exhaust, though, like, yeah, I didn't expect it to sound like this, you know. Um, it sounds really just like the AMG version. You know, another thing that I'm just noticing here, your visibility and presence just in this vehicle. When you sit in it, uh, you it just gives you a, a presence. I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. When you sit in it, you feel like you're in something special. You're sitting high up, uh, you have excellent visibility. Um, it's just really kind of a special driving experience. I don't even really know how to put it into words, but it really does give you that you know special feel. Now, as far as the transmission is concerned, that is a nine-speed automatic transmission. Drag race this Tesla here and <laughs> offset its yeah. carbon savings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just on this test drive, we've probably offset that entire vehicle's carbon savings for a lifetime. This sounds, it's so good. Now, of course, it is gonna come standard with full-time four-wheel drive. This is a G-Wagon. Um, you know, I imagine most of the owners are never gonna take this off-roading, but it does have that capability if you ever do want to use it. This is honestly probably the most capable vehicle in the world. I would probably give it that distinction. That and the Land Cruiser are up there for some of the most capable vehicles money can buy. Absolutely. And like I said earlier, three locking differentials. Yeah. I'm not aware of anything that's, uh, you know, a, a vehicle that consumers can buy that has that. one of those cars is mind blowing. You absolutely have to love this vehicle. You know, we've been trying to, you know, talk about uh, strong points and basically summarize at the end of the video our air ball and a slam dunk. Um, and, you know, it's hard to come up with an air ball for this vehicle because I just love it so much. But, you know, I do understand uh, this today's air ball is just going to basically be like the practicality of it. You know, this is not the most practical option that you can get for $140,000. This is not the most practical SUV. It's a giant cube going through the air. Right. It's horrible fuel economy. Um, you know, uh, it's not the point. It's at not all, really but... spacious. Yeah, it's it's just not really that practical of an option for you. Um, but the slam dunk. I think we both already know this. You probably can predict it. It's just going to be just the ridiculous level of build quality. There's not a vehicle on the road that has door locks that sound like this, door shutting that sounds like this. Um, it's just nuts. It really is. Yeah, you just get the feeling like this is just crafted out of one solid piece of metal. Like, this feels indestructible, you know. Um, and that's the whole point. And that does kind of lead into the last point that we do need to make about this G-Wagon. It's the fuel economy. Uh, pretty sure none of you guys are even going to care about this, but 
the fuel economy comes in at an absolutely amazing 13 city, 17, or 13 city, 17 highway, 14 you're looking at 14 miles a gallon combined um, if you go for the g63 i do remember that you get a gas guzzler tax so that's something that this g550 doesn't get it has the same um, fuel economy yeah it's so weird. that's I, that's odd i don't know why that is but um obviously not great fuel economy not the point of this vehicle you know and overall what can i really say except this is just a unique and special vehicle um, driving this is like driving nothing else. It yep. truly, there is nothing else like this. It really is unique. Um, you know, and that's exactly why it costs the type of money that it does and people line up to buy it. If you have this type of money and you want something unique, I mean, this is, this is it. Alrighty, and now it is time to talk about this G-Wagon's uh, worst part, I would say, the pricing. Um, now, obviously, none of this is going to come cheap. This is a very iconic vehicle, and it honestly just keeps getting more and more expensive every year. Um, so for the very base G550, which is what we have here, that's going to start at $130,900, which is around a $7,000 increase over 2019. Uh, if you want to go for that AMG model, the G63, that's going to be uh, 156 450 um, which is an $11,000 increase. So supply and demand, these are very high demand, so of course the price is going to raise. Now as far as how this one is equipped, we do have that base G550 with some options. So we have the adaptive damping suspension for $1,400, uh, optional 12-inch uh, instrument cluster $850, heated steering wheel $250, all season floor mats 200, comfort seat package 2220, uh, as well as the AMG line package for 3470. Um, and then you add the destination charge of 995. This particular model, as equipped, comes in at $140,285, <laughs> um, which is, is a ridiculous price. But um, I have to say, don't hate on it until you get in this vehicle because, you know, honestly, after spending time with this car, I totally understand why a lot of people drop almost $200,000 on this G-Wagon. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed watching this in-depth look at the 2020 Mercedes G-Wagon G550. I, if you made it this far in the video, hopefully that means you enjoyed it almost as much as I did filming it. Um, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.